On today's episode of Phone Cats, we're taking a look at Fiona fights and doing a giveaway. This game looks simple, but gameplay gets really rowdy and you have to be so precise and aim your shots. Oh, look at that super power up demon sword with its AoE attack. Phone Cats, how you get the best swords? How you get the best swords? Hey man, this is Chris with PhoneCats.com. Right now we're doing a giveaway for Fiona Fights, Mutant Muds, and Hacky Cat on PhoneCats.com. Those are three separate giveaways. Uh, this video's just gonna be about the gameplay for Fiona Fights. This game's really dope. It's only a dollar, and it's by uh, Cartoon Network. So scoop it up. Here's some gameplay with some pro tips. Okay, you tap to attack, and then Fiona's gonna bounce in the air and then slowly float down. And you wanna try to do chain attacks to where you're gonna be like hitting multiple dudes at once. It gets way easier when you start to get swords because they'll give you like an AOE and you can kind of tell that like the hitbox gets super magnified or whatever the right way to articulate that is. Okay, this is like their other game, uh, Jumping Fin Turbo, to where you start out with nothing and then as you play, you continue to unlock things. So it kind of builds up to this completionist style. Um, I've been playing this game a lot and I'm only maybe like halfway through getting the upgrades, but it's fun. Um, you can play it for like extended sessions, time goes by really fast. Uh, sometimes you're going to see me using potions and each one of them has different effects and now I'm starting to unlock these special abilities. Look at that Neptor epic suit. I think that one of the feet is a toilet. Um, this game's a must for any Adventure Time fan and then even people that aren't into it will get a kick out of it. The gameplay is really spot on. Um, there's a lot of games about like tapping fast or just tapping in the right place, but the amount of precision and how trolly some of these bad guys get is ridiculous. The butterflies are bad when they're moving, but I think I'm gonna show you some of these little black, I don't even know what they are. They're those little dudes, little flying wizards, but there's black ones that are insanely trolly and they'll constantly, like right when you're gonna tap, they know to move. I don't know how it works. It's probably tied to your iPad or iPhone's camera. And whenever they see you about to poke, they're like, eh? Yeah? Um, I don't even know what's gonna happen at the end of this game. There could be a boss fight. They're already doing like these little mini bosses and you'll know even when you see them, like a fast burger that will just speed right past everything else. Or uh, there's one of those round orby ones that has the same kind of style to where it'll speed right past you. Um, I think my scores are capping around 350k, or you'll see my high score at the end, and that'll give you something to strive for. I tried to check out the Game Center leaderboards right before, but they weren't functional. That's me rocking a shield, a nice sword, and there's a little bit of that hamburger. God, that crystal sword is so dope where it shoots out things in like that diagonal. Man, that's gonna kinda wrap this vid up as I throw another Nepter with a shield and burger spam. How did I end up losing? Um, head to phonecats.com. You can do Twitter stuff to enter this giveaway and use that super share this link and then you can get more entries. Thanks for watching. Phonecats. Watch more vids? That top left one is iOS games like Mario, the middle is some of the best MMOs for your iPhone or iPad, and then that third is just 100 hot games on iOS. Or head to phonecats.com and pick up a crazy cheap deal on a phone or tablet, or cool cases. Thanks for watching, Phonecats.